Oh, today I'm real, real big on, on door knocking. I'm gonna be talking about how a person can increase their sales volume by just implementing something that's so simple and door knocking to get resolution on your leads. No, I'm not talking about cold calling, sort of door knocking, like going door to door and just trying to strike up an interest. That's one way to do this and you can do it. Yeah, I've got buddies of mine in this industry who do it and that, that's how they built you know, six figure incomes. What I'm talking about is the way that you can take a lead that they've already expressed interest, but it's difficult to get them on the phone. They don't answer numbers they don't know, or maybe the number's disconnected. Maybe it was a, a bonus lead that you got or something that you had from long, long ago and you're just now getting around to working with it. You can get resolution on these leads as well, but you're gonna take some work. It's gonna take some door knocking. Really simple approach. A lot of people neglect it simply because it's uncomfortable. Maybe you don't have any experience door knocking. Something I did for 10 years, it's definitely been a big part of my industry and my business in this industry. And so 2018, $145,000 in production was done from door knocking. In 2019, 112,000 of my production was done from door knocking. So far, even with Corona and everything else that went on in 2020, $68,000 so far this year, and we're just now in October, $68,000 been from door knocking. Every week I'll pick up one to two deals just from door knocking. I'm gonna show you how, right? And so uh, a lot of people get like, how, where does this all start? You know, when I get there to door knock, what am I supposed to say? Where am I supposed to park? How am I supposed to dress? Listen, I'm telling you, don't overcomplicate it. It's really a simple process. So pull it up in a driveway. I've got a lead. I've got a client qualification form. I've got a pen. That's all I'm grabbing to take out of the vehicle with them. I'm gonna leave my vehicle running. They can hear it running. They know subconsciously this person isn't gonna take much of my time, and that's what I want, right? I'm gonna walk up to the door, and I'm gonna knock, knock, and I'm gonna give them some space, right? I want, I want to be able to back up off of that door a little bit, and to be able to make them feel comfortable enough to open up the door. I'm not a threat to them. I'm a person that they can trust. It's okay, I got a big smile on my face. I'm welcoming, I'm waving, right? They know that I'm not a person who's gonna be threat. Another quick tip, if you're gonna be door knocking, brighter the clothes, the less threatening you look, it looks like you're, you're looking to be seen. You're looking for people to notice you there. So always bright clothing whenever you're knocking doors, in my opinion. Now, what do I say? when I get to the door. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not gonna start blurting out, hey, my name is Jeremy, I'm, calling, I'm coming by because of your insurance and this, that, and the other. No, I'm gonna make a friend, get them to kind of break the ice a little bit, get them to kind of warm up and trust me. I'm gonna talk about anything but insurance. So, hey, how are you, right? Man, it's a, it's a beautiful day outside. You enjoying your day? I didn't wake you up, did I? Oh my God, look at that dog of yours, right? Isn't it so adorable? I'm gonna do genuine things to make a connection right away. Now, when it gets a little awkward, when it goes silent, I'm saying, oh, and by the way, I'm, I'm Jeremy, right? And I'm the agent that they assigned your case. Looks like you sent this form in, but we hadn't been able to get a hold of you, so they asked me if I'd stop by and get it taken care of. Really big. They asked me if I'd stop by. I do. Makes that client understand, hey, you're doing your job. It's okay, thank you for coming by. Right, they asked me to stop by. And so when they say, okay, great, so what, what can we do? Can I borrow your table? I'm needing to just go through a couple of things, verify what I've got here, make sure that we can find you some good options. Great. In the home, now you're a guest. I used to hear it said on the porch, you're a pest, right? You want to make sure that you're getting in there. People make those decisions at the kitchen tables. Families still in 2020 make big decisions around their kitchen table and I borrow your table. That's another reason why I don't have anything but a client qualification form and, and a lead form and a pen. Now, if it's a little hesitation and they, they, they don't kind of want to let me in, I'm going to show them that I don't have anywhere to write on and I borrow something to write on real quick. Maybe they let me in, hey, come on in and, and, and use this little table inside. Hey, I want, the closer I can get in the home, the more that I can get them to open up and trust me, right, the better chances of me being able to actually help them. Now, when I do get in the home, I'm gonna go through my client qualification form, verifying the information that I had, gathering any more information that I can, and then I'm gonna ask them a big question. What was your biggest concern 
whenever you filled out this form, what were you trying to take care of? And I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna let them talk. So I'm gonna give you some surface level stuff. Ask a follow-up question. Hmm, man, would that be you know, a bad situation for you guys in your opinion? How, how badly do you wanna change that situation and prevent that from happening? Awesome. And then I'm gonna say, I'll tell you what, I've got time between now and my next meeting. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my iPad or if you're working with a tablet, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my tablet. I'm gonna bring it back in and we'll go ahead and get this done and taken care of. Great, right? Simple as that. I can guarantee you that if you will take your leads every single time you go out and run appointments and you're with a client and they port you, take your leads with you. Have your leads already with you. All the leads in that area, go by to the next nearest person and knock on their door, introduce yourself, let them know that you're there to take care of them. You can guarantee it'll make a big difference in your week, in your month, in your year, in your career.